Welcome back to Twisted Gaming TV. Today's video is about what did you regret buying in 2023 last year? We're going to hear from 19K Fox, P Dubs, and Glenn's Retro Show, and myself, of course. What did we regret buying? Any regrets of anything you purchased? I'll say some some of my one ups, you know. Um, I, I I've been doing this for a while. I know full well all the quality issues and all that. But some of the one ups, uh, the, the biggest one, I I made the biggest stink about the uh, Fast and the Furious cabinet. Man, well, I, I was all I was all I in. Two. I was all in. I bought two because I hadn't bought a damn thing all year. I was excited about the two new releases we knew were coming with Time Crisis and this. I buy two of the damn cabs. I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for real. And I don't, I, I don't have any any kind of discount or nothing, right? Buy two of these damn things, and then to find out it's not even an, the arcade ROM, and then they and then they lied and they took one game and kind of bastardized it, and then they cut it in half and said it was two games. That was so disappointing because it was such a big financial investment. I got lucky that I had somebody local that wanted to buy them, and so I only lost about two hundred bucks, a hundred bucks on each. Because I even did the uh, the Retro 530 lit coin door mod, like right off the bat, like as I was assembling it, because I was so excited. And that was just, for me, that was just like the, yeah. that that was that, that was disappointing. Yeah, because that was off of what, the PlayStation 2 game? I don't even know what it was. They they claimed they got back with, uh, with, Jar with Eugene Jarvis and made a new version of it, which they were claiming was more complete. But I think they just dumbed it down to run on their hardware. And so that's why you have all the graphical, just, just, the discrepancies it looked like it was a console port and it just didn't it was just disappointing glenn how about you oh that's easy easy as pie every arcade one up i purchased every <laughs> one i knew that was coming that's <laughs> why I oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you pitched him a softball there <laughs> <laughs> i will say though in selling them and sell them i really it hurt me to sell the space invaders i'm a huge space invaders guy but no yeah. i had to get rid of it and uh you know the, the Tron behind me when that goes, that'll hurt me because I'm obviously a huge Tron fan. I got like three Trons behind me there, you know. Um, and the oh, Star yeah. Wars cabinet, those those are gonna hurt because I do like those, but overall yeah. they're all RK one ups. So they gotta go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. For he me, does. what uh, for me, I bought the My Arcade Galaga player, the one with the joystick. <laughs> what did that... that was? Holy cow! And I did a videos on that. <laughs> what a what a piece of shit. 50 bucks 50 bucks wasted uh i got the atari vcs what a piece of shit never should have bought that thing this year um because like the only reason you'd want to get is like maybe okay i could play like the atari recharge series but right. i already got all those games on steam you know what i mean like i didn't need the freaking vcs the vcs was a brick out of the box never worked um no shit. what else did i regret this year um, Is it the VCS speed ups or the Atari 2600 Plus? Was the VCS? Yeah, my the VCS I bought earlier in the year. Yeah, it was a brick out of the box. It wouldn't update. There's a whole batch of them where it wouldn't update. You'd have to update it via like a thumb drive and stuff. But even with that firmware plugged in thumb drive, I couldn't get the damn thing to update. And if you can't update it, you can't do anything. You can't even start the system. You know what I mean? So it was. It's just the VCS is just a freaking nightmare. Um, and then what else? I'm sure I regretted something else along the way. Now that's, uh, well, that's all I got for now off the top of my head. I'll think of it. But those two products were definitely total, total <laughs> waste of money. Total waste of freaking money. In the past, I regretted uh, the arcade one-up Pac-Man years ago. Remember I bashed that? Oh, that was good. Pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was probably worth it. Um, this year, I probably regret one of my Nintendo signs. I sold because, man, I ain't gonna be able to get that again. Because you know those oh, things go. For... Yeah. Oh yeah. It it might have been maybe not this year, but maybe the last year. I, I sold my uh, Super NES fiber optic sign, oh, but no. the guy gave me nine grand for it, so oh. I was like, well, wow, yeah, I yeah. Guess so. But you I, can I, you can I, live with that, yeah. Yeah, I got a picture of it. It's video. Yeah. Yeah, you got to pick, just just have a poster made and just stick it on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I regret that, but you know. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you yeah. need to go, then 
Chris, yeah, great. I'm glad to see you back. Thanks for having me yep. on. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see all of you next time. Peace. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure there's uh I'm sure there's going to be lots of collaboration op opportunity in 2024. Look forward to working with you guys, Glenn, Chris, and uh thanks so much for inviting me on the show. Appreciate coming sure. on. You guys have a fantastic new year and do us a favor in the live chat if you're enjoying the stream, give us a thumbs up on your way out. Fox did his goodbye. I had to do mine. <laughs> and thank you for subscribing. We'll talk to you guys real soon. You guys have a good night. Have a good one. Right. Well, those were some uh interesting answers. Anyways, if you regret buying something in 2023, whether it be console-wise or arcade-wise, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you regret buying in 2023 so we can all stay away from that crap. <laughs> Anyways, y'all be well. Have a great one. Till the next video, you know the drill. Peace.